Hey guys, it's Shanita. Welcome back to another vlog. This is gonna be my first vlog of the new year. I took a little time off during the holidays. I had a lot going on. I had my birthday. kind of told me that today was going to be it like I gotta get this right I gotta start wearing these things more consistently I gotta start wearing my rubber bands more consistently she's gonna give me eight more weeks and then we're done so I really got to step up my game because I should have been done with this whole process like eight months ago and it's not moving along very quickly because <clears throat> because I've been slacking basically she's given me eight more weeks to get this right and for the most part my teeth look great it's just the bottom row there's still some spaces so that's what we're trying to fix and we're still working on my my bite a little bit so I'm gonna step up my game you guys and make sure that I wear this stuff so that like I said the first week of March I can get everything taken off and be done and I can go um, get my teeth whitened and do all that good stuff and be done with the whole process man this rain is coming down you guys have been watching the news i think they're calling this like some kind of bomb cyclone or something like that so it's just been raining 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 non-stop in california and it's pretty scary because people don't know how to drive in the rain here i think i've mentioned that before i'm on my way to work right now and i just wanted to say hi to you guys welcome you back oh my gosh let's just enjoy the rain for a moment the rain as long as I'm not in it so I'm trying to hurry up and get to work but yeah so I had a lot going on in November and December you guys like everyone I had the holidays but um I also had like a lot of stuff going on at work I had a lot of stuff going on with the giveaway we had a holiday event Yesterday, I booked our next family trip, which is actually going to happen, Lord willing, next month in February for my uh, anniversary with Todd. So we're going to go out of town, take the kids, and kind of celebrate that with some other family. So hopefully that will all happen. And if it does, I will definitely record that whole experience for you guys. As per usual, and the rain has stopped now, which is so interesting. It will get like spurts of it really, really hard and then it'll stop. I took my daughter to a screening of Elvis, which I had not seen prior to the screening. And I ended up really loving the movie that I've watched it, I think twice since. Austin was there, uh, Baz was there. I'm gonna call them by their first names. If you guys haven't already checked it out, um, I put up a couple of clips from um, their Q&A. Again, I'll, I'll link that so you guys, or wherever it appears, I'll link it so you guys can check it out. I shot the project that I booked. I don't know if I shared that with you guys in a vlog, but I did book a project in November. I shot it in December. Hopefully it will come out sometime in the next couple of months and I will keep you guys posted about that. I'm on a veil for another project that I'm waiting to hear back if I've booked. I had an audition to take this morning, which is why I have makeup on. But I think that's it, you guys. You guys are all caught up and um, I'm headed into work. So I will pull you guys back out when I have something else interesting to share.
you can see I had a very busy Saturday. What I thought was going to be more of me just hanging out at the house ended up being a full day outside of the house. I had an audition this morning, a commercial audition in person. And I thought I was gonna be in and out, but it ended up taking about an hour, which is fine. Um, if I were able to explain the premise of the commercial, you would understand why it took so long. I mean, I wasn't in the room for a full hour. It's a really cool spot. So I'm hoping for a callback. I'm hoping for a booking. We'll see. I have my, my daughters with me. So after that, we went and ran some errands. Um, I went and tried Nigerian food for the first time. It's a restaurant in Inglewood that Taya had actually been to before. And um, she wanted to take me and, and Taya back. So we went, I mean, me and Kenya back. So we went and the food was so good. It was really, really good. The setting was a little too intimate for me to pull out my phone when we started getting food. So I was like, nah, I'll just wait. You know, I'm sure we'll be back. So I'll share hopefully footage if we go back of the food. It was very, very good. I guess this spot is really popular, um, Taya was telling me. So we'll definitely be back after that um we went to the laundry mat which i haven't been to a laundry mat in years but what inspired me to do that is that i'm so fed up with the people in my apartment building either the machines are always full and they leave their stuff and there's nowhere to put my things to wash or the laundry room is dirty or there's kids running around i was like you know what I don't wanna spend hours and hours and hours trying to do laundry. I'm just gonna take everything to the laundromat, get it done and, and be done. So that's what we did. And right now I'm just getting back home. And I wanted to share with you guys that I got some really good news. It was actually after I filmed the intro for this video on Thursday, I got an email saying that the part that I shot last month that I was telling you guys about, it's becoming a recurring role. <laughs> Which is exciting because when I auditioned for it, it was just supposed to be, a, you know, a co-starring role, just a couple of lines. So the fact that they want to bring the character back is super, super exciting for me. Um, the guy that I auditioned with today, I was telling him about it. And he was like, well, you must have did something really good. You must have did something right for them to want to bring you back. And I was like, yeah, maybe I did. Yay. <laughs> so so it made me, feel, it made me feel really good. They told me uh, they wanted me to come back and that it's going to shoot in February. And then of course I started freaking out because I literally just told you guys that I booked a vacation in February. Thankfully, I got an email yesterday with um, more specific dates and they don't conflict with my trip. So that was kind of like a feeling because it's like, you know, in this world, it always happens. And I think I explained that in another video where it's like, as soon as you book a vacation, you book a part. So it's like, uh, you know, but everything's going to work out, Lord willing. And um, February will end up being a pretty exciting month with a trip and uh, some work. I'm back home for the evening now. I'm going to go upstairs and put all my laundry away, try to find something to eat and just relax for the rest of the night. auditions that came in one of which is due at five o'clock so I got to get home get my makeup on tape that get it sent in by five so yeah I'm kind of rushing as you guys can see it's overcast and rainy and dreary again today more rain which is not a surprise you know we were told to expect this for the next few weeks so I guess it is what it is. I just want to hurry up and get out of it. So I gotta hurry up and get home. As far as Mondays go, this one's pretty typical. The only thing is I just really hate rushing. It's kind of like an anxiety trigger for me. I hate rushing from one thing to the next and having to do like things back to back to back. Um, I'd rather like pace myself now that I'm older. But um, you know, I guess some things I can't control, but when I get home, I gotta get this audition out that's due today. I'll probably go ahead and tape the one that's due tomorrow too. I have 
to make dinner and then I'm supposed to go to the gym tonight. So that's a lot of stuff that has to get done tonight and then, you know, bedtime and then I'm back up at work tomorrow. So it's kind of like boom, 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 boom all the time for me. But anywho, I guess this is what I signed up for. <laughs> yeah, so I'll check in with you guys when I get home and um, start setting up for this audition. Okay, so it's about 4.35ish. I'm about to take this audition. The finished product will probably be more, no more than like 25, 30 seconds. So <laughs> yes, lots of time and effort goes into these auditions. And for the most part, they're really, really brief. You don't even really say anything. If you guys notice, usually in commercials or for the most part, in most commercials, no one's talking or a lot of the actors aren't even talking. So it's usually more about the look of the person versus if they can deliver a line. Um, the look and maybe the reaction if they have to react to something. So so yeah, for this particular one, I think there are some, there are some lines, but they're not having us do them. We're just reacting for the audition. So let me get this done. I'm, I'm rambling and it's due in a few minutes. <laughs> so let me hurry up. Hello, my name is Shanita Moore. I'm 5'10 and a half. I live in Los Angeles, California. commercials so I really want to check that off my list again I've never booked a national commercial so that would be amazing if I could do that in 2023 
let me apologize. Today is Saturday. It's been a few days since I checked in with you guys, but I wanted to jump on and kind of close out the vlog. I have had quite the stressful week um, in a good way, but it takes a toll on my body, which is unfortunate. Um, I'm at the gym right now. I'm getting ready to go in and work out and hopefully alleviate some of this stress. But um, I just had like a really crazy busy week at work with people um, calling out. And so I have to cover them when they do that. And the auditions and everything have been going well. I haven't heard back from the callback that I shared with you guys on Tuesday. I haven't heard back from that yet. But um, I had a couple more auditions during the week. I got a call back for another commercial, which I had to do live via Zoom yesterday while I was at work. So I ended up ducking into someone's office that wasn't there and did my call back. And as a result, I'm on a veil for that commercial, which I'm super excited about, of course, because it's a national. Um, I'm thinking I'll hear something this weekend about whether or not I booked it because it shoots next week. So fingers crossed, prayers, prayers up to this guy. Thank you guys for coming along on this crazy week of mine with all of these auditions and callbacks and hopefully another booking. I say it often to family and friends, but I might not say it a lot on my vlogs. This life is difficult. And if it's something that you are seriously considering, just understand that it's not as easy as some people might want you to believe. It's a lot of hard work. It's a lot of sacrifice. And you really have to be willing to juggle a lot of different things in order to sustain this lifestyle. I say it all the time. I've been doing it for a long time and I love working. I love being on set, but it takes a lot to get there. So be mindful of that. Know that it's going to be a lot of hard work. Know that it's not for, I don't want to say the weak, but it's not for people who aren't in it for the long haul, because it can take a long time for you to actually achieve some of the goals that you might have for yourself within this industry. So know that you're going to have to have balance know that you're going to need balance, I should say, in order to to make it, in my opinion. Um, live other parts of your life. Don't just devote 100% of yourself to acting, even though you're kind of told that at the beginning. You have to have a balance. With that being said, I'm going to get out and go in and get my workout in. But like I said, I just wanted to wrap up this vlog because I feel like it was kind of all over the place. Hopefully you guys can pull some gems from it. <laughs> Hopefully you made it this far in the vlog. I'm going to go work out and uh, try to not get rained on. And I will check in with you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. It's not my fault You've been lying saying that I took away your peace Drowning by yourself